Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Bianca here. Uh, today's video is actually a remake video, I guess you could say, or at least a video in honor of someone. So I'm doing things a little differently today and I really hope you guys enjoy. What's going to happen is, today I'm making a makeup video after Nikki Tutorials. She posted a very intimate video about, you know, the passing of her brother and I immediately had the idea that I wanted to remake a video or make a video in honor of her and her little brother Mikai because it just was heavy on my heart and towards the end of the video she actually said you know for people to make response videos which felt really great because that's what I planned on doing anyway so to know that she might be on the lookout for this or there's a possibility that she might see this is amazing. Uh, the story really hit home for me because although I haven't lost a sibling to cancer I have lost a grandfather to cancer and so you know may he rest in peace it's been a very long time I was in elementary school but he was my best friend so I definitely can empathize with her for me guy and I know that that wound is still fresh and I am you're absolutely in my thoughts I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason as well and I felt like I just needed to see that video so I hope you guys enjoy this uh, sit back relax let's do it Alrighty, so I already went ahead and moisturized and primed my face as well as took my glasses off and put my hair up. So, today I'm actually going to do something that I never do, which is my foundation first. But, in honor of her video, she does her foundation first. So I went ahead, I'm going to do that. I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Full Filter Foundation. And this is in the color Toasted Coconut 240N. And I do, of course, have her lovely brush, which works beautifully. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start by putting that on, and then I will blend it in with my beauty blender. I'll tell me why I just put that on my right hand. Well, I'm going to use my right hand to tap. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera and I will be right back. Alrighty, eyebrows are done, so let's get started with the eyes. So, today the two palettes I'm going to be using are the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. I don't have the same palettes that Nikki uses, so this is, like I said, my recreation of her look. So, the first two colors that I'm going to go ahead in with are Cherry Soda and Prick. Cherry soda, excuse me, this one is cherry soda, and this one is prick. For added control, I'm gonna start with my Morphe M433 brush, dipping it in cherry soda. And tapping it along in prick. This is going to be fun for me because I always start with my eyeshadow because of fallout. So let's see what we'll do. Mm -hmm. 
And if you notice, I haven't done my concealer yet either because I'm a little worried that I'm gonna drop product here. So as soon as I'm done with my eyes, I'll go in with my concealer. I am genuinely terrified, but so far so good, I would say. a very beautiful blend of colors and I just felt like this was gonna be the right thing for this look so far I'm digging it all right so the very next color I'm gonna go in with is called tongue pop and it's actually the color right above here so that this one now she uses a more peachy and I admit this is a little more pinky but I love it it's a beautiful color and I know that they go well together using my Kylie Jenner brush. I don't know which one this is, it doesn't say, but it came with her peach palette. So I'm just gonna, already started blending that, so I'm gonna continue and pull it out the way she did. Sorry about my annoying mirror. I just have to make sure I can see. Okay. So far, so great. Alright, just kind of cleaning my brush off a little bit from the red that got on it. And I'm gonna take tongue pop again and mix it a little bit with the color sweetener. Sweetener's a little more shimmery, if you will gonna pop that right in front of it and a nice blending mana I get gonna go in with sweetener again a little bit more over top of that very beautiful colors I'm gonna take my morphe brush back up and just dip back into cherry soda and prick once more. Just to liven up that outer corner a little more. I love it. And again, this was just a really close to home type of thing for me so as soon as I found out that she really wanted us to go back and make our own looks I was I was absolutely all for it so Nikki if you actually get to watch this I am so sorry for your loss and I applaud your strength and thank you for watching all right so the very next color I'm gonna go in with is my extremely beat up and I'm so sorry it's this ugly but this was like I don't know one of my first main palettes so I kind of killed it I'm just gonna cover tempura because it's literally a gaping hole. So this is the next color I'm gonna be going in with and it's called Vermeer. At least I think it's pronounced Vermeer, I'm not entirely sure. So Vermeer is gonna be in my inner corner to brighten that up. And I'm actually gonna take my Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray in my Morphe M431 brush and spray it dip it in Vermeer just to give it, it's already a very bright color, but this gives it the oomph. Yes. I tried to go as close to her colors as possible. Without having the same palettes, of course. All right, gonna dip back in. That's it. 
so far. And I'm doing one eye because I'm going to do the other eye in a minute. Now, one thing that she did was actually use um, red eyeliner, which I don't have, but I do have the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette. And I'm going to use this red here, this corner number seven. And I'm going to try to use that as an eyeliner. So bear with me. A Morphe brush and it's an eyeliner brush that I also got. As you can see, it's like rose gold, goldfish. And the lipstick is very pigmented, so I have high hopes for this. Definitely gonna need more product. <laughs> so far. Sorry, I'm rocking the camera. And I'm going to take one of the primary colors, that red. Put it on too because just to deepen it, it's a little lighter than I had anticipated. So this one is a little more her style and I'll read you the primary color in a minute. I mean, you know that it's red, so there's only one row of primary colors, but that's okay. For anyone that doesn't have it, I'll show you. I'm sorry, I need my mirror so close. Realistically, I have an astigmatism, so sometimes it gets a little difficult. Okay, right, picking up a little more product. So far, I'm in love. I'm just gonna use my palette mirror because it's a little take that that is extremely pretty I've never done anything like it so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye off camera and I will pop on some lashes and now that my lashes are on I'm gonna go ahead and go in with concealer but before I do I just wanted to show you guys the color that I was talking about it is primary three that red down in here amazing job for the eyeliner all right I'm gonna take my usual heart shaped tape concealer and it's in the color light neutral yeah, I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand today rather than directly on my face, which I typically do. But I'm just gonna be using a brush to partially apply it and then go in with my beauty blender. I have to say I'm extremely impressed with myself today because I did not have any fallout whatsoever and I was so afraid of that that I waited to do my concealer until this time. Like, for a second just because sometimes when you let it sit you get better coverage from what I hear. 
Nothing too crazy because we don't want to take away from our eyes today. go to sleep in this makeup tonight, I'm not gonna lie. And luckily, it's only 10.46 in the morning. So I have all day. Alright. Gonna do my bottom line mascara and then we're gonna get to our lips. All 
right, so I mixed primary red and color number 12 over here because I'm usually more of like a raspberry lip person, but this isn't about me today. This is about anyone who has been lost or anyone who has lost someone. It's for my grandfather and it's for me, guys. So we are gonna give it a shot. So my camera overheated, so I had to fix my lips off camera, uh, but this is the final look, and I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I just wanted to say that if you are going through the loss of a loved one, and you guys need someone to talk to, please feel free to talk to me. I'm here. Uh, even if you don't know me, if I'm a complete stranger, I will still talk to you. We'll get you through it. If you're a cancer survivor, you're amazing. You are a badass, and the world is better because we have you in it. Uh, again, this was for Nikki and Mikai and my grandfather and other members of my family that I've also lost to cancer. Um, and I just hope that you guys have enjoyed it today. And Nikki, if you watch this, it would be a dream come true. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Bianca is out. Have an amazing day.